Every kid dreams of a movie theater in their car, from the drop-down DVD players in minivans to the behind-the-seat players in BMWs, these features present a futuristic and premium experience. In the Tesla Model 3, with a large touchscreen being the most visually prominent feature of the interior, it was the obvious choice to integrate theater functionality into the software. But despite the appearance of an iPad permanently stuck to the dash, the theater app offers much more than just a versatile screen. The first time I tried this completely unique Tesla feature, I was shocked for several reasons. When I first played Netflix, I was astounded at how quickly content loaded in high quality. And the screen can actually play full HD because the screen has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Oh, and this full HD streaming is over Tesla's completely built-in data network. Surprisingly, it worked fast and smooth even in seemingly desolate locations. It's pretty incredible to have it built so seamlessly into the car and work so smoothly. Also, it should be noted that this data streaming requires the $10 a month premium connectivity package, so that's just something to keep in mind. Despite the slightly small 15-inch screen, the theater viewing experience inside the Model 3 is better in many ways than even a traditional movie theater. If you're viewing Netflix, Hulu, or YouTube on the screen at night, the screen size really isn't that big of a deal because you're close enough that it appears large and is plenty bright. For comparison, the screen is about the size of a standard laptop, so it's really not that small at all. It's honestly really amazing when you start listening to things in this car, especially movies, because the sound is so good since there's so many speakers really close to you, it really creates a very nice surround sound that's even better than in most movie theaters, because in movie theaters there's even empty space where sound can ricochet, but in here everything is padded and dense and really confined, so the sound stays really dense and like you're actually in the situation where the scene in the movie is taking place or during a dialogue spot. So it's just a really cool experience that I don't think you can get in a lot of different places. Him and his wife Carrie, and me and my wife Irene, or I call her Beanie. Thanks. Another way the Tesla theater is more premium than a regular theater are the seats. As most people already know, they're super comfortable, and with the personalized lumbar support, recline, and much more legroom than an actual theater seat, they're honestly quite superior. Not to mention that you can turn on the heat seaters. How many theaters have that? Oh, and the entire car's climate is easily kept at a comfortable level for yourself. It's never too hot or too cold. Although this theater is currently only available in the parked position, with the possibility of self-driving vehicles in the near future, this theater option creates a whole host of more options. Not to mention the convenience of having a full-fledged theater while supercharging. Of course, no software in a near first generation is perfect, but having this functionality in a car dramatically separates it from any competition and helps to establish a more premium and futuristic automotive experience. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.